分かったら二度と人の夫に手を出すな<笑>ジレうおいこれだから女の嫉妬は。So we just got done watching the do over damsel. This was episode number six and we're back at it again with Jill being this all powerful being once again. And although she's shown many times that she's not an all powerful being, she is at the same time. And even though she could totally get one over on the goddess without Rob's help, she fell to the goddess originally, but the goddess is the one who helped her turn back time before because she got stabbed by the goddess who was part of her kingdom. So she turned back time, but then the goddess doesn't want it to be her because she loves the dragon emperor and like... <sighs> There's something about this show that I thought was really, really good. And I think episode one, two, and I think three as well... What they did really well was not really focus too much on the story. They kind of like, they gave us a story. You know, she died, reincarnated or went back in time, however you want to say it. And she's doing, she's doing it over, right? That's like, like the, the concept of the show. But where the first three episodes really shined was like the comedy and I know everyone's kind of says like, that's not the point, but like it, it really stood out by like the comedy and the expressiveness of the character and the art being put on the screen. Those are really like the three things that it was really, really excelling at. Where episode four, five, and six has shown us where it does really pour in is the actual plot, the actual story, and like the meat and potatoes of the show aren't very good, at least in my personal opinion. Again, if you feel different, you know, hey, that's more power to you. You know, that's, that's kind of why I put these videos out for it's, this is my opinion. You may align with it or you may be on the complete opposite end. You may agree with me somewhat. That's just the way it goes. But like, I really feel like where the show fails is like the actual story and plot. They also have it to where the emperor keeps flip-flopping back, back and forth with his feelings. So now we're back at it again at the end of the episode, all lovey-dovey because it was about the curse and he was doing things for a reason. So now he's fully admitting his love for Jill. And now Jill is, you know, this, this episode is kind of like her overcoming her hesitancy and showing her love for the Emperor, right? For Rob, whatever. And... Now they fully have admitted it to each other, but then they're not admitting it to each other either. And which makes sense, you know, Jill's young and then she also never really had a first love. The prince was kind of thrust up upon her and stuff. So I understand the hesitancy, but then like he kisses her once again, but then she gets all like she slaps him and stuff once again. And I guess you can see it as cute, adorable, uh, maybe even find it funny. I think I think they're aiming for those moments to be funny. I just kind of rolled my eyes a little bit. I didn't find it funny. I did still find it cute in a way, but I didn't truly find it funny. And I think for the most part, you know, throughout the events of this episode, you know, finding out all about the goddess and uh, finding out how, like, you know, Jill, like, you know, had this big speech with Rob, you know, the dragon, and he turned into a sword because, of course, he did. And, you know, he's representing this kingdom, and then she represents the spear of the other kingdom. And, you know, she took him on, she took the goddess on with the sword and she's floating in the sky forever because she's, you know, super duper OP, but then not OP at the same time for whatever reason. And she somehow retains her powers from before, but it's, it's always been really wishy-washy what exactly was her powers before. We just know that she was OP, but she died anyways, but she shouldn't have died because she could overcome the goddess with her bare hands somehow with the power of love i guess uh and she breaks the little spear in half and i don't know yeets it to the sky uh and the prince comes after her like ha, 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 i have got you now batman and uh she was like pa, 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 pa. no you don't the, the emperor's like how dare you and he puts him in a bubble like he makes him a bubble boy and just like you know and then they have their moments in bed and stuff and all very cute and adorable and boring 
I don't know. Like, I guess it maybe it's just my mood today. I don't know. I have a headache. So maybe it's just like my mood is just not there, you know? But like, I just felt really bored this episode. Like, I watched it and I was like, okay, you know, another episode. I just feel like some of the things that made the first three episodes that were so charming and like I was laughing and like it just made it very special. I just haven't gotten that in the last two or three episodes now. And it's like, man, how did they lose it so quickly? You know what I mean? Like, if you think about how much runtime, each episode is like 19 minutes of runtime, something like that. So, you know, three episodes, six, an hour, like basically hour one, we got like really good stuff. And then now we're like, we're in hour two. We just completed hour two and hour two sucked. So it's like, okay, now we got to look forward to hour three, which may or may not be good, you know? So I don't know. Overall, I think this was a 6 out of 10 episode. I think it was just fine. It was just a fine episode. It was just another episode of the show that had a lot of potential. It's not quite meeting it, but it's not disappointing either. So let me know what you guys thought about this episode. You know, let me know. Maybe you're on the cute, adorable side. Maybe you're on the boring side like I am right now. You know, just let me know what you think about the episode in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you being here. So hit me with a like before you guys dip out. I'll see you next week for episode 7. Maybe there's like more redemption there. Maybe we get back to some of the charming things that... Uh, made us laugh, uh, hopefully. So I'll see you guys next week. All right. Peace out, my friends.